Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alina. I will be a senior in college this fall. I'm currently studying for my MCAT and working on my applications for DO school. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I study for the MCAT and I do that on my iPad. I'll leave somewhere on the screen what generation it is, but it is an iPad Pro and I also use the first generation Apple Pencil um, with some rubbery parts to make it more comfortable. Um, I'm also currently using the Kaplan system to study and so I have all of those textbooks as well as their online resources, but today I'm just going to be going over generally what I do and then how I take my notes. So with Kaplan, you have three units to get you prepared for the MCAT and each unit they have different chapters of the textbook that they'd like you to read and some additional videos for you to watch. Some chapters they'll have you skim over more than others, um, but since I have the time I prefer to go through every single chapter and then watch review videos if they are available. Um, just because it's been a little bit since I've taken my prereqs, I finished up my prereqs at the end of my sophomore year, beginning of junior year, so it's been a little bit and I just thought since I have the time I'll just do a little refresher. Each week I set up what I want to get done and I do have like a master list of when things absolutely need to be done so I can take the MCAT um, but I like to break it up further into exactly what subsections I want to get done, how long each day I need to study and things like that. Um, I also thought I was going to be able to breeze through all these chapters super quickly. Um, I was planning on doing like four or five chapters a day and quickly found out that's way too fast for me. I'm doing about one to two chapters a day and it's mainly because I'm really taking my time with it and I'm not just skimming, I'm taking notes on everything so you know, depending on how much you need to review each chapter, um, how much you actually take notes on could be different than how much I take notes on. So on my iPad I currently use the app Good Notes 5 to take my notes, um, but I had used Notability for three years and right during the summer I decided to try Good Notes. Um, I just wanted to see if it was a different experience and I really like it. If you guys would like to see a comparison video of Notability versus Good Notes 5, let me know and I can definitely do that. Um, but I am taking my notes on Good Notes 5 and I'll start screen recording now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So. When you open up GoodNotes 5, I have some uh, files open, but I have one big folder for my MCAT stuff, and then a folder for all my Kaplan notes. Um, and then each subject has its own notebook, and I tried to make it look kind of nice so they all have similar notebook covers. Um, but today I'm working on organic chemistry. So if I open up my organic chemistry, um, right at the top is that notebook cover and then once you scroll down, it's the first page. So I like to have my notes look neat, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on fancy headers and things like that, so I try to keep it as minimal as possible. So each of the Kaplan books has a different color associated with it, so I've incorporated those colors into my notes. Um, so for the heading, this is what I decided on for each chapter. I write out the chapter in print highlighter and then I write it in cursive on top and then underneath I write the chapter title. So chapter one is nomenclature, I write that out in cursive and then use a highlighter to accent it. And for Kaplan, each chapter is broken up into subsections 1.1, 1.2, etc. So for each of those, I'll draw it out in a little box and then write what that subtopic is about in cursive. Um, the rest of my notes I do in print just because I think it's easier to read and um, it's easier to find information. One really cool thing that I like about GoodNotes 5 is the ability to search a text. So if I wanted to look up, let's say, um, amides. So right here it finds amides, shows me where it is, and it's that easy. So it's really helpful to be able to search your own handwriting in this app. So I'm currently working on chapter two, so I have grid paper in the background just to keep the notes pretty neat. Um, but once I'm done with the chapter, I'll take away the grid paper background and give it a plain background. Um, I just think it looks neater that way. But basically I do this for every single chapter um, of every textbook. Um, I think my 
most full one is uh, behavioral sciences just because that one had a lot of writing and a lot of diagrams so another really great way to um, use GoodNotes 5 or any note-taking app um, is to make an outline on it. So in GoodNotes 5 you can make any page a part of the outline. So you just click in the top and then I have each chapter with its own outline which is really convenient so if I know I need to brush up on learning and memory I click right there and it's got it all. Um, so as you can see similar setup to organic chemistry with the headings and the titles and the colors. Um, so yeah, I like to keep it pretty simple, but to give you guys some options for headers and different things like that, I have been trying out a bunch of different title pages. Um, so here are some options. Um, obviously the second one down is the one I had decided on, but all of these are great options. Um, some just require more time than others, which is why I decided to go with the one I did. I can also show you guys what my study schedule looks like. So I downloaded a calendar. Um, online and it is my study schedule so right up in the beginning of May is when I started studying um, end of May early June I got into a car accident so I had to take some time off there um, but starting right in mid-June again back at it um, and now I'm just about back on track to finish everything in time and then take my MCAT on August 8th which is coming up pretty quick um, but you know, with all the resources I have available, I think it's going really well. Um, I just think the most important thing is to have your notes neat and take notes on what you need. Um, I think sometimes I get in the habit of wanting to take notes on everything because I don't want to miss something even if I already know it. Um, and I think sometimes that takes up valuable time, but also realizing that, you know, this is a very important test and if you have the time to go over everything, go over everything. So I will have spent two and a half, almost three months studying for the MCAT. Because of everything going on with COVID-19, uh, my internships were canceled for the summer. I'm doing a little bit of research on the side and I don't have a job. So um, at the beginning I was studying for about six to eight hours a day. Um, after my accident I had to slow it down a little bit, but now I'm back between four and six hours a day. Um, and I'll just keep ramping it up in the weeks coming to get ready for the MCAT. But that's just about it for today. I just wanted to give you guys a little video on how I'm studying for the MCAT and how I set up my notes. Um, so if you enjoyed, like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. I post every Tuesday um, with videos pertaining to pre-med life, studying for the MCAT, and just studying in general. Um, I'm planning on posting a bullet journal setup towards the end of July to get ready for August. Uh, but. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, bye guys.